Okay, this is Ed D'Alessandro from End Result here with the new MDX 16 that is on um, my network here. Just plugged the network cable in and uh, updated the firmware on it whenever I got it. This is the interface, and it's really simple, and I'm just learning it. But uh, here's zones. Uh, and it gives you all eight of your zones, which I've renamed a couple of them already. So you can run them, you know, stereo, uh, mono bridged. Uh, you can bridge uh, two zones together. There are 65 watts per zone, but you can make all kinds of changes here. And if you notice, the changes are done automatically. Uh, volume, arc on or off, stereo, mono, the... the uh, um, paradigm speakers are automatically loaded into there. You just tell it what speaker you have. Really cool. Um, subwoofer on and off. You make these changes and it automatically saves the changes. Really cool. Bass, treble, uh, left, right, whatever. So that's in zones. In um, inputs, you have eight analog inputs and four digital inputs, and you can um, change the trim <clears throat> of any one of them right there on the fly, and hit apply, and it automatically saves them. Really cool, easy. Uh, <clears throat> the general tab, you can set your auto delay uh, on, off, the front panel, uh, if you want it dim, or whatever you want it, however you want it. Um, I also have my Arc uh, Genesis software hooked up to it. <clears throat> um, uh, digital source out, um, any one of the digital <clears throat> uh, inputs, and um, the user ID number, let's see what that does. <coughs> um, then here you can st uh, store the user settings store the installer settings there's the factory settings you can export these settings to a file import the settings so this is the user interface for the anthem mbx 16 pretty easy huh